he once towered over tourists at the Jersey Shore. Now the iconic giant waits for Barnacle Bill's arcade and mini golf to reopen in Ortley Beach. It's one of many projects New Elevations Construction has underway. I mean, there's 40,000 properties in, the, in 100 miles of the storm that really need our service. And most of our customers, they've been calling and my phone's been ringing off the hook, please come help us. Around the corner, homeowner Peg Gallagher is forced to rebuild. Three homes landed in her backyard. It's depressing to be here. It's, it's it was such a beautiful place and it's, it's totally depressing. There are about 2000 homes in Ortley Beach. Mayor Tom Kelleher says every house was damaged by Superstorm Sandy and at this point over 100 homes need to be demolished here. Our engineers refer to them as Dorothy houses like Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz where the tornadoes ripped the houses apart and we're working with FEMA right now to get permission to reimburse us for, for doing that. Mayor Kelleher expects demolition work to begin before the summer. On Ocean Avenue, the lifeguards headquarters is being rebuilt, along with sections of the boardwalk. We expect to have at least four or five blocks of boardwalk open by uh, uh, June. And the beach should be open from 3rd to 5th Street. We're making a concerted effort to get the beaches open. It's an important asset to the community. Starlight Motel manager Joseph Guarino couldn't agree more. The motel is one of four businesses open in town. It's, it's just the perception of people that drive down here. They still drive down here after four months and they see a lot of homes still crushed and still in the same condition. So their perception is we're never going to open. Across the street, Johnny Fry's is open, flipping burgers and serving French fries to the lunch crowd. The contractors are here three out of the five days a week, so our business is doing quite well. Others are still in the process of rebuilding, like the beach shop owner, Frank Ngata. I am shooting for Memorial Day, but at this particular point, all I want to do is get done. If it's Memorial Day, if it's June 15th, if I have to wait till 4th of July weekend. In Ghana, things Ortley Beach will be inundated with tourists this summer. They've heard about it for six months, how bad Ortley Beach was, and now they want to see it for themselves. So I think they'll take a day trip. That's something business owners in all the storm-ravaged towns along the shore are hoping for. In Ortley Beach, I'm Lauren Wonko for NJ Today.